On the serve, you are not allowed to make contact with the end line. Don't touch the line with your foot. Also, you may not make contact inside of the court before you touch the ball. The ball is out when it touches the antenna, ropes, posts, or the net itself outside the bands. So basically, the ball cannot touch the antenna in any which way or form. If the ball hits the antenna after simultaneous hits by two opponents over the net, the rally should be replayed. So as you can see, both players simultaneously hit the ball into the antenna, which means run that back. Setting as an attack hit um, in beach, your shoulders need to be perpendicular to the direction of where the ball goes. Shoulders square, ball comes out clean. Let's see what Cody do is to perfection. Shoulders square, Yay! ball comes out clean. Perfect. Now let's see something that I see a lot in our beginners. Setting sideways, not allowed. The shoulders were not perpendicular. So just to show the rule, 13.2.5, um, a player completes an attack hit using an overhand pass, which has a trajectory not perpendicular to the line of the shoulders. There is one exception, and here's the exception here. Cody was trying to set Keith the exception is when the player is attempting to set his or her teammate. Again, that's a subjective call uh, up to the refs. Open hand, tip, dink, or oh, don't. That is one of the biggest differences from indoor to beach, which is the open hand finger fondleage. Uh, not allowed. Yay! Gotta use knuckles. If the ball is close and you cannot make a swing on it, you use knuckles. Oh, what? Welcome to another Midtown Beach tutorial. In beach, playing doubles or twos, the block is counted as a touch. A blocking contact is counted as a team hit. The blocking team will have only two more hits after a blocking contact. That counts as one, okay? When his teammate touches it, it is now two. That third hit must go over the net. The first hit after the block may be executed by any player, including the one who has touched the ball during the block. The defender at the net makes a block that is one hit. He can go ahead and hit that ball one more time. That's two hits, but his teammate must put the ball over in three. Contact with the net by a player between the antenna during the action of playing the ball is a fault. An easy rule of thumb is don't touch the net unless players may touch the post, ropes, or any other object outside the antenna, including the net itself, provided that it does not interfere with play. So you can actually touch the net as long as it is outside of the antenna. Faults in playing the ball. The ball is caught and or thrown. It does not rebound from the hit. You can open hand set any ball, even the first ball over, as long as it's clean, meaning no double catching or throwing the ball. As you can see here, Cody open hand sets the one ball to perfection. This one is going to pertain to reaching over the net and making contact on the block and as an attacker. As you can see, Justice is making contact with the ball. Even though he didn't touch the net, you're not allowed to uh, reach over the ball and make contact before the other team is allowed to. This is for attacking now. Attacking is the same thing. You're not allowed to make contact if the ball is clearly beyond the plane of the net. 